Lauren Hardy. And I'm Kim Jin, filling in for Karen Troy. We'll be right back. Welcome to the show, Jin. Well, thank you, Lauren. It's great to be back <laughs> it here. It's great to have you. I'm always thank happy you. to co-host programs with you. Oh, I'm happy to do it with you, too. Yeah, thank and you. this isn't... <laughs> I've actually filled in for both yours and Karen's vacations in the past for one or two shows at a time at most. But uh, this will be actually my first semi-long-term commitment to the show, so I'm rather excited. Or scared, semi-long-term uh, commitment. Yeah, well, semi, that's why I added the word semi. Yeah. All right, well, for our listeners who may not know this already, our regular co-host Karen is currently on maternity leave. So Gian will be joining us on the show for the next couple of months. And uh, Gian, you know Karen really well. She had her baby earlier this week, right? That's right. Uh, she had a baby girl early this week, and uh, both the mom and the baby are in perfect health. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but of course, Karen will need several weeks to fully recover, and also, you know, they're going to spend some quality mom and daughter time before uh, Karen can get, come back to the studio, so in the meantime, I'll be keeping her seat warm. Oh, well, thank you so much for that, and if any of our listeners would like to congratulate Karen on her baby and wish them well, you know what to do. Just write us a letter, either snail mail or email, or even online. We have our message board at world.kbs.co.kr slash English, or you can leave a message on our Facebook page, and we will be sure to deliver the messages to Karen. Yes, and if it is snail mail or cards or postcards, whatever you send her, I promise that I'll personally hand deliver them to Karen and the baby yes, as well. So right. let's all wish her well. Yes, that Good luck to Karen and her new baby girl. But I also want to point out, she probably doesn't need any baby things, so please don't send her any baby things. Right, because uh, this is her second baby. Yeah, she's, yeah, so she's she got a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of hand-me-downs right now for yep. a baby girl. Well, I'm sure I'm happy to hear, I'm sure all of our listeners are happy to hear that mm -hmm. Karen and her baby girl are healthy. And again, Gia mm -hmm. will be filling in for Karen for several weeks starting this week. So if you're out there and you have any questions or comments for Gia, those are Welcome for having me on the show, and I've been if it's for a short while. I'm definitely looking forward to all the great messages and letters you guys seem to always get. That's right. We do get some great letters mm -hmm. here, and it is always great to have you. It's my pleasure, absolutely, to have you here in the studio. But speaking of those letters that we always get, why don't we move on to our listener letters and reception reports? We'll be right back with them in just a moment. You are listening to KBS Listener's Lounge on KBS World Radio. It's time now for us to jump into our listener letters and reception report. We had another batch of lovely handwritten, typed and emailed comments, letters and reception reports sent to us by you, our listeners. So we're going to get started right away. Yes. So as usual, we'll start off with the emails that we received over the past few weeks. We heard from our official monitor, Mohammed Shamim of India, who sent us his reports from January 21st, 23rd through the 25th, as well as on the 28th, 29th, and 31st. He listened to us at 1600 to 1700 hours UTC on 9.515 megahertz on all those dates. He used a Grundig YB80 receiver and a 20 meter long wire antenna, and he said the reception conditions were overall good. He reported a SINPO of four across the board. He also said that he finds our programs interesting and educational and requested. And he also asked for a video program, stickers, and some souvenirs. We will definitely end this up to you, Mom. And, uh, Moving on, we had a Japanese listener send us a recession report for our English programs written in Korean. And I must oh. say, in fantastic Korean. It was really <laughs> well written. I don't think I could have written a Korean letter that well. <laughs> so, Yamanochi Yuki from Kagoshima, Japan, said that he listened to KBS World Radio from 0200 to 0300 hours UTC 
9.580 megahertz on February 23rd. Gave it the symbol of 45444. Looks like uh, he was able to catch hot issues in K-pop interactive. Okay. Now, uh, roughly translated, he wrote in Korean, the listening condition had been good. I don't speak much English, but I enjoyed the programs listening to various latest songs. Since K-pop is very popular in Japan as well, I think there will be a lot of fans of the music programs on KBS World Radio in Japan too. They say music is a global language and I think it is a beautiful language that can be enjoyed with or without understanding. The reason I started studying Korean was because of K-pop and K-dramas. Uh, one day the whole world will come together through such cultural exchanges. I commented in Korean because my English is not very good. I hope you'll understand. Of course, I have a long way to go with Korean too. I will continue to study hard. Thank you. If my report is correct, please send me a verification card and it would also make me very happy if you send me a program guide. I think there were some awkward Korean expressions. I'm sorry. Now, first off, Yuki, your Korean was absolutely flawless. No <laughs> awkward expression whatsoever. And I'm, oh. I'm really hoping that he's uh, listening and understanding what I'm saying in English, too. <laughs> Absolutely flawless. It was fantastic. And again, I don't think I could have written a better Korean letter. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear this and so excited to know that our listeners will even tune in to our English programs because they love Korean programming mm -hmm. that much. So secondly, I think Yuki is absolutely right about music being the global language. You don't need to speak whatever. I think it was... I think it was Bob Marley who said one good thing about yeah. music. <laughs> when <laughs> one it hits good thing, you, yeah. One good thing is when it hits you, you feel no pain. Mm. And I, I always thought about Bob Marley's music because it got so popular internationally. Right. And so many people had no idea what he was saying. That is very true. And I told you earlier this year, or last year rather, that I just recently found out what uh, Mo Money Mo... No, no <laughs> wait, what was it? No Woman No Cry Man. No. <laughs> there you go, yeah. I don't think I know what that means still. But, you know, universal language, mm -hmm. music, it totally. makes you feel good. And that's what K-pop and K-dramas are doing for our friend over in Japan. So thank you for that. We'll let